Did one year help or hurt our sangria? This is an example of why I have a dedicated cabinet for our one year samplings because there is no more sangria other than this bottle left in this house. Because someone drank Me. it all. I Actually, drank it all. We took a bottle over to your parents. We did. We shared ago. the and joy. It, and it was gone. That, that was this beverage. Um, this is 15.5%. We do not have a final gravity on it, but as I recall, we fortified this a bit. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. I know it's probably oh. relatively sweet. It smells amazing. It smells so The good. cinnamon is already coming off in the aroma. It's lovely. This got a really high score last time. Okay, this this reminds me of Miguel's, Miguel's which is a restaurant in Tampa Miguel. that has sangria. That They do a great job with it, and yeah. this is what it smells Miguel's, like. It was what we based this yeah, off of. Yeah, that so. was the whole inspiration yes. for this beverage. Wow. It's not as sweet as I remember. It's just happiness in a glass. But it's not as sweet as I remember. I thought it was sweeter. It doesn't need to be. It has that glorious, juicy fruit thing really going does, on. It really does, With a little bit of cinnamon kick. And so it, it really shouldn't be overly sweet, in my personal opinion. Fair. Sangria doesn't have to be sweet. Nope. It just needs to be it's fruity. It's wine with fruit in it. Fruity, fruity. And yes, I know. Anybody that didn't watch the original, we know. Sangria is generally not a bottled thing. I mean, you can buy that real sangria in the store and all that. But it's generally a made thing. It's like a, a wine punch. Okay? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but we did have a multitude of requests yeah, for this. And I love sangria. So, so I decided I like, to make it. Okay. We actually have had recent requests for a white sangria. So that's yeah, definitely might, on the list. might be looking into that. Absolutely. I, I think this is great. Um, it's really strange on the clarity. It's not clear, but it's not truly cloudy like it's got some clarity to it but it's not really super clear i wonder if the cinnamon has something to do with that i think the cinnamon might have clouded it up a bit don't know in something like this though it doesn't even bother me like, right I don't, I don't because really care. like typically sangria it's gonna be muddy it's gonna be get, muddy anyway because yeah. of the fruit pulp and stuff but but describing it the um wow there's so much fruit flavor coming through. I'm getting citrus cherry, and grape I'm getting and citrus cherry. and grape, and yeah. the cinnamon definitely. I don't even remember what we fortified this with because that's not really coming across. Not I mean, even brandy. It was 15.5%, but... I think we, we fortified it literally just to bring it above where the yeast could go. Sure, sure. But normally, like in, in other things, when we've done rum or something, yeah. they added a flavor. It might have been that, brandy. I'm thinking brandy would have melded because brandy is distilled grape juice, distilled grape yeah, wine. Yeah, yeah. So and it, so it would have just would've... blended in. You wouldn't even yeah, notice it. you wouldn't it. really notice it. Uh, which is what is occurring. Yeah, regardless of what we used. It everything melded together pretty nicely. There's there's only a couple of notes that are a little off kilter for me. Um, again, though, this isn't my thing. This is Derek's thing. <laughs> you okay. saw the face, right? Yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong, this is fantastic. Yeah. I'm just, I have to be critical. I have to Do you say, though? Yes. Do you really? Yes. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. It's really hard to say that they're that far off. I mean, I'm being really picky here to, to say anything is wrong with it. I don't know if it's as good as it was a year ago. I'm trying to remember. I think it's very good. I think it's excellent, but I don't know if it's quite as good as it was a year ago. And I know, I know some of you are probably annoyed because we can't have the side by side, and we don't have a time machine. Yeah, it's it's in the shop. If you have a time machine and you're willing to lend <laughs> us your time machine, I would gladly do the side by side. Yeah. But all we can do is go off of what we said a year ago, but which you'll memory see. Memory is. Fickle and that place in time, you are a very different person than yeah, that yeah, it's, place it's, so in time you are a year later. Comparing those two things together is difficult. And I'm trying to remember. I remember <laughs> loving this a year ago. I remember I it was amazing. I remember loving this a year ago. I remember mm -hmm. loving this every time I, I opened another I bottle. And I I've had very little of it in the past year. Loving it right now. I think this is great. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think this is actually pretty amazing. I'm just not sure that I love it as much as you do. Just trying to find things that stick out for me. Okay, well, well, go ahead. What what's wrong? What is the discordancy um, for you? It feels like there's a slight bitter kind of thing going as the cinnamon kicks in. Okay. Just, I mean, okay. 
nobody freak out. I'm I am nitpicking. All right, literally nitpicking. He's got his magnifying glass, and he's got another magnifying this, glass. This is in front of that magnifying glass. the very highest end of our scale for score. Okay, <laughs> I, that just just understand that before I even go any further. But that is something that I have to consider before I give it some sure. of the scores that, that, sure. that I'm talking about. So to me, that little bit, it's, I hate to say it, but there's too much cinnamon. That's what it is. Okay. The cinnamon, I think, made it a little too bitter and a little discordant. Just, it's like at the back, back of the throat on the finish. It's just infinitesimally So do you think you would have appreciated this more if we left the cinnamon out and, we and you dusted just did cinnamon just over some it. fresh cinnamon? Yeah, I think I, think I would. Okay. I think I would have appreciated it better. And that is how they serve it at yeah. Miguel's. Yeah. We were just trying to incorporate everything all in one yeah. so you didn't have to do that. Yeah. But I think that might be it. The, the cinnamon either over extracted a little bit or it was just too much cinnamon. Sure. And cinnamon is a tricky... Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Ingredient to add because I can't we're talking, easily. We're talking a percentage point here, but it's it, not like a if lot. It, if it over over extracted, it over extracted this much, and I think we can agree mm -hmm. on that for both, right? Yeah, I'm not even actually getting it in the flavor. I get it on the exhale. Oh, that's where that. That's why I couldn't f quite figure it out because it's not on the flavoring. It's not even on the finish. It's on the exhale. When I exhale. I get a little discordancy from the cinnamon not working with sure. the fruit. Sure. And I, I, I find this whole discussion about cinnamon to be ultimately amusing to me cinnamon. because Brian loves cinnamon. And, and that's why it bothers he's me. all about the spices and brews. That's why it bothers me. But I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest. That is the thing that's making it discordant for me. But cinnamon incorporated in sangria was first introduced into my life via Miguel's, mm -hmm. and now whenever we go someplace other than Miguel's and they say, would you like cinnamon on that? Yeah. I, I perk up like a little... Yeah, like, the, wow, you know. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. It's actually a traditional way to do it. So it's it's been done for a long time. Right, but it just makes me excited. And, it, you know, find and your happiness. Rightfully so. And give it a big hug and just enjoy it, right? All right, are you ready for numbers? I really want to do it. You're conflicted, aren't you? I don't... Halves aren't working for this one. I'm, I'm the way our score of works, we work in half numbers, like five, five point five, six. You need like a quarter. I need a quarter or a three quarter. <laughs> that is smooth. It is sweet and viscous, and there's plenty of tannic aspect. Let me let me take you on a trip with this one. This is a good one. As it enters, right off the bat, I get the grapey kind of orangey citrus hit. It's kind of sweet but not like sickly sweet at all. It has a good viscosity, but it's not overly thick. Um, as it gets into the palate, that's when some of the tartness of some of those fruits starts to come through a little bit, but it's still like this tart sweet thing. And that's when I notice the cinnamon. Then as it travels back the edge of your palate, just before you swallow, the cinnamon really starts to come into play and it mixes really nice. It's like a dark fruit, like a dark plum cinnamon kind of mix. And then on the exhale, and the finish, definitely get the cinnamon and the fruitiness and a little bit more of that ethanol. This does not really taste like high ABV. It does not. It doesn't taste like a high ABV, but it feels like a high ABV. And what I mean by that is the only thing I wanted to add Abby. to Brian's trip is that right after that initial super fruity flavor, I get a warmth sensation over my entire body. Yeah. And I can only attribute that to the higher ABV. One. Two, three, eleven point five. I was gonna go to eleven. <laughs> Just based off of everything that I have said, I cannot go as high as I might want to. That's fine. So uh, there you go. All right. Anyway, you ready? I'm ready. One, two, three, ten nine point five. five. I knew she was going over ten. <laughs> I was really debating between nine point five and ten. I think we gave this an eleven last time around. I'm fairly certain I was at least a 10. I don't know. To me, maybe my taste have changed a little bit. Maybe um, my palate has grown up a little bit. I don't I don't know. Well, but that, that just tiny little bit of cinnamon is, is bugging me just enough. I do want to say something that I normally don't say in these, and that's that we just came off of another one-year tasting, and that was for our Mace Mead. Yeah, it was and a Methaglin. Mace is 
super powerful. Yeah, but we we cleansed palates we and all that kind of palates, thing. We cleansed palates, but I still have that kind of tingling sensation on my tongue. Okay, that's I'm possible. wondering if that's causing some... That's a possibility. Some conflict. And also, that was more my wheelhouse than this is. Sure. So it is possible that that swayed my opinion just a little bit. But that sure. just tells you how... Uh, little Fickle, tiny things it can actually be. Can yeah. affect everything. Yeah, what you ate that day can affect it. Yeah. Your mood can affect it. Today um, we had a taco salad, which I think would pair yeah, perfectly with the sangria. Really well with but <laughs> still, she gave it a 10.5. I get a nine. That's a 10. Yeah. That makes it a 10 overall. Yeah. I mean, that's still phenomenal. That's what I was trying to say. Like, this is still an amazingly good wine. Don't get me wrong. It's Absolutely. amazingly good as a sangria. It's just, to me, that one little thing. I think if the cinnamon was toned down, 10%, I would have gone to a 10. I think the takeaway here is make the sangria. Absolutely. Drink it right after it's done. Drink it three months after it's done. Yeah, drink this was really good young. So if you don't have to age this. To a year, it's fine. Just, just to drink it. Yeah. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.